Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Now my apologies for being so late on this final guide for EOP Karina's Challenges Volume 3.0. Unfortunately I was quite under the weather and then a whole bunch of different things happened and I'm still unwell as you can see by the lack of webcam on the screen. So I did the guide, uh, I believe yesterday, I just didn't record the video. So here uh, we're going to quickly go over and explain the guide. As with the rest of them, it is the same Excel spreadsheet that I have kept updating. So all of the guides for Karina Volume 3 are here. They are just in separate tabs. So if you do want to check out Spectacular Spiders or Helmut's Air, all of them are available right there for you. And let's get to it as with all of these i left a blank space for you to work out your own plan your own team what champions you have so i listed all of the potential options for alternate avengers and left you some space to plan so let's scroll down a bit the teams that i suggest and the side that i think would be the easier one this is going to be almost exactly the run that i did as well here and we're going to see that I think path uh, one, the one on the left side, is easier for this team. And we're going to start off with Hercules as your kind of like free float in character. Again, Hercules can be replaced here with uh, different champions. I believe you can probably bring in Odin or whatever else uh, that you do have or you feel more comfortable with. And uh, take Hercules with Hercules, Havoc with Hercules, Warlock. You can take with Scarlet Witch, because Scarlet Witch is perfectly capable of dealing with that Warlock, especially with the guaranteed crits. It's typically quite fun time. And then we have Nick Fury. Swap out Hercules for She-Hulk and Modok. Modok is going to be one of the bigger kind of like problem fights, but She-Hulk does that fight all right. It is quite skill intensive and it is quite tricky. It probably will take a revive or two, because obviously She-Hulk doesn't have direct way how to counter the auto block but ultimately having a more aggressive ai modok shooting those level ones kind of persistently and you being able to ramp up your attack enough to once you do hit his block it pretty much immediately can disable that uh, flux thing it, it does make the fight doable especially with some decent amount of uh, dashback intercepts right there then for blade probably scout witch it's not a perfect or easy fight but she can do it the limited amount of power control that Scarlet Witch have will help you. For Terex, CMM is an amazing option. CMM should be able to do that fight relatively easily. And then Dragon Man can be dealt with by She-Hulk relatively easy once you kind of get hang of it, once you learn how to heavy counter his level 1s and stuff like that. She-Hulk can definitely do that fight quite well. And then for Thanos, just use either Team Revives or Scarlet Witch. So that is my recommendation, which I do think is easier path. I do think the other path is doable as well. I think Dormammu can be taken down by She-Hulk because you can stop the Evade and Unstoppable and then basically past that point, just spam your level ones or heavy attacks and throw that uh, degeneration back at Dormammu. Use Hercules for the rest of the fights on the path, then swap out Hercules for Sigil Witch. When it comes to dealing with Kraven, Use either Scarlet Witch or Sigil Witch, most likely. Sorry, uh, She-Hulk. <laughs> My bad there. I think there is a slight mistake here. Instead of Sigil Witch, we need to write in here CMM. And that's why I need to take this out. My apologies. So for Craven, try to use your Scarlet Witch. Uh, with Scarlet Witch being able to nullify Craven's buffs, you should have easier time pushing Craven to level 2s. It will not be a super easy fight by any means, but it's definitely doable in my opinion. For Scorpion, uh, use your CMM. Just don't use any special attacks, but uh, hit him carefully, and uh, you will still be able to enter the binary mode periodically and do extra damage like that. For Icarus, we have Scarlet Witch, and for Penny, uh, CMM is probably the better option. As a generic champion kind of suggestions, uh, here we're going to have a list uh, of which champions from this tag, from the alternate Avengers, are capable of dealing with, with what fights. And um, we can see that with for Hercules, you can pretty much use any champion, but it's probably suspect that Scarlet Witch or She-Hulk will do the better job there. For Havoc, we can have Sasquatch, Scarlet Witch, but again, many of the champions will do quite well. CMM, unfortunately, will be quite tricky time against Havoc because her binary does energy damage, so that is something you typically want to avoid. For Warlock, this time around, you actually have plenty of options for Scarlet Witch, Sigil Witch, CMM, Kamal Khan, all can deal with Warlock's armor buff, and uh, therefore can, they 
can actually get past through that roadblock of a fight. And then for Nick Fury, again, you can use plenty of different champions, but I'd probably suggest Guardian, Rogue, or Scout, which is the better options. For Modok, it's just pretty much She-Hulk or Team Revise, in my opinion. For Blade, we have Scout Witch or Sigil Witch. For Terex, we have CMM, Scout Witch, Sigil Witch. And for Dragon Man, we have She-Hulk or Scarlet Witch. On the other side, for Dormammu, I think She-Hulk is the better option that you can select. Otherwise, I think Rogue can potentially do a decent-ish job as well by spamming level 2s. Then for Bishop, we can have Sasquatch, Guardian, Kamal Khan, Scout Witch. For Crossbones, only option there is Guardian plus Coagulate Mastery or whichever champion you bring in besides that tag because there are pretty much no Bleed Immune champions in this tag available. So Guardian plus Coagulate probably will work, but you don't really want to do that. You want to bring in somebody else for that fight. For Overseer, we have CMM and She-Hulk that should be doing a decently good of a job, especially if She-Hulk's awakened, you should be able to purify the debuffs that you get. Then for Craven, we have Scarlet Witch, Sigil Witch Guardian. For Scorpion, we have She Hulk and CMM. She Hulk should be doing quite a decent job against Scorpion as well, if you do have her on your team. And for Icarus, we have Scarlet Witch, uh, Sigil Witch, and Rogue. And then for Penny Parker, it's probably Sigil Witch or CMM. There is a two in one run available that is a combination with your. Uh, with your Band of Mutants run, where you can only use um rogue and scarlet witch basically and then obviously hercules for the initial start and i think this is the one two in one run that kind of makes sense i think because this alternate avengers is one of the trickier objectives i don't think I, i'm not 100 percent sure that this is the best way to do but if you do want to do a two in one run then this is the probably one that makes more sense because here we do not have a ton of great options for the second sets of four fights uh, on either of the parts, really, I would say. So if you do want to do that two in one run, this is probably the time to do it. But I don't know if I recommend doing it uh, either. And that's it. This is the final guide for Karina Volume 3. As I said, all of the other ones are available uh, just in the side tabs. Once you open this spreadsheet, you can access all of them. If you do want to start planning by yourself just tap on file make a copy for yourself and then you can use this spreadsheet as you please because at that point it is a copy of the spreadsheet for yourself and uh, yeah that is it my apologies again for taking so long to upload this one and uh, best of luck to everyone still doing karina volume 3 see you next time guys Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the...